I hope this video don't get copyrighted because of the music in it. I mean, there's some music in this. Yeah, you know poop is coming, but you know you have nothing to feel. I mean, the fear. You have a lot to feel. I thought she was behind the couch. Okay, so uh, I kind of have news. Would you like to tell them the news, mother, that we have? That you say you have? That was uh, yeah. mine? Two I, new kittens? I got, I adopted two new kittens. Okay, I'm the father of two girl kittens. Adopted father. This is preparing me for when I, if I have an actual child. Like I said, the cats that were supposed to be mine that you stole. I stole. But hey, if they have a kid at some point, you at least get one of them. One of the kids. I want, I say we keep two. One from each DNA. I don't see your dad agreeing to that. No, okay. We have, we have both line of DNA. We have both anyways because they're sisters. No funny know this if they're sister sisters or if they're sister. I can tell by the way they look that they're sister sisters. Okay. Anyways, here we go. A trailer to a new TV show. Happy you see it better. Nathan Brad, I'm the new okay. English teacher. You live near here? Yeah. The old Biddle House. I think that's a reference to the ghost next door. I think his name was something Biddle, but I don't remember. So I may be wrong about who I think the main villain of this whole thing is. <laughs> the Biddle House. Did you like the I did hear the horrible story about the boy who used to live there. You know, I hear it's haunted. Okay. We all know what that mask is. That's the face of the uh, boy in the mask. Okay, Strange. and you can say it's the haunted mask that you want, it's not. <laughs> the camera from Say Cheese and Die! One and two. We have the Say Cheese and Die, and then there's Say Cheese and Die again, and then there's like the Horror Land or Goosebumps Most Wanted one for Say Cheese and Die. That's funny! No. Not that I can think of. Hey, uh, this is kind of creepy, though. We missed it. You gotta go back now to when the fire goes out. Not that I can think of. <laughs> this is creepy scene. This is creepy. <laughs> you got that fire demon. <laughs> Some weird stuff has been happening. Something's clearly wrong. Yeah. Why would you do that, man? That's not cool. There's no such thing as a curse, dude. That isn't real. I get those calls every time. Are you okay? <laughs> this is all connected. He's getting revenge for what our parents did to him. I get those calls every time. Oh my God, we're murder nepo babies. Move on back. We we be we miss stuff <laughs> after this part. This is all connected. He's getting revenge for what our parents did to him. I get those calls every time. Oh my God, we're murder nepo babies. Oh. What's just going on? It's obvious you know. That's why all of this is happening to us. I like how they. Hey! It's my favorite, the cuckoo cockatoo, which barely got any recognition in the actual movie. I'm so it better. Besides watching the king. So it better be actually a major point in this TV show. Okay, my theory is that. Whatever this demon is that wants revenge for whatever their parents did to it, I'm thinking it's the thing from the goat, from the headless ghost, that monster, but I'm not too sure. This is Goosebumps, after all. I, I don't know one of the references at the end of this, if it's a reference or if it's brand new. But I did watch this a little bit. I skipped to the end to see when it was coming out. That's all I watch. 
literally. That's all I remember. But anyways, uh, by what I'm getting, I I hope by what I'm getting that I'm right. That different goosebumps story every episode, or at least almost every episode. Only thing I want in this, aside from Slappy, who I know is in this, is Monster Blood 2. I want Monster Blood 2, that book. I want that one to be in it. Man, when you get a giant hamster filled in shit. Oh, and also, I want Horrorland. I want everything related to Horrorland. One day at Horrorland, return to Horrorland and the Horrorland books. Everything related to Horrorland to be in this. As a Halloween special. It's Slappy. Come with me. This is the one I don't get. Why does James smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers? I was just gonna say. That could be like a reference to one of the Halloween books. Uh, I think maybe the Trick or Treat one. Uh, with the giant ugly ass alien face. I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Yes, it was a Goosebumps Most Wanted book. Okay, so either it's Goosebumps Trick or Trap, either this one, which is the most wanted one, I want to be in this. Okay, story from original Goosebumps. Welcome to Dead House. Stay out of the basement. Monster Blood. We already know Say Siege and Die are going to be The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb and Let's Get Invisible. Oh, and of course, The Girl Who Cried Monster. And give some welcome to Camp Nightmare some more love. Same thing with the ghost next door and the haunted mask. And be careful with what you wish for. And piano unless it can be murder. Last from... Okay, second to... Third to last from the normal Goosebumps. Werewolf of Fever Swamp. You I And mean, then you can't scare me. So one more. I will pick one more. And that's one day at Horrorland. Bonus how to day one. Monster is why I'm afraid of bees. And Monster Blood 2 along with... The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. And another holiday. Oh! Another holiday one. Attack on the Mutant. Bonus one. Attack on the Mutant. My Harris Adventure. And Night of Tower. But for holidays, we need to find a, a certain holiday one. I'll be right back when I find that. Is the Obama Superman in Pasadena. That would be hot. That I want. Okay? Just so you know. Not. And they better have Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns in this. And calling all creeps. Along with the Blob and the Curse of the Camp. Weirdo Halloween. It could be Weirdo Halloween. As well. You guys okay out here? Hey, Mama. Yeah, we're like, uh, yes. And Slay over here, like, yeah. Yes, Queen. Display for the 19 seconds long, the teaser for the new Disney Plus Goosebumps TV show. You just watched the teaser before the official trailer. We just, we just watched the official trailer. The Disney Plus Goosebumps TV show throws a lot at us. Let's slow it down and see what they're hiding. The first shot of the teaser shows the five main characters motionless with dilated eyes. I think this shot takes place in the home of Harold Biddle, a teenage boy who died three decades before the show starts. This clip by itself doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but take a look at this promotional image. It shows the same scene, but reveals that the characters are looking up at someone holding a book or folder. Whatever the character is holding, there's a drawing of what appears to be a man and a woman. Also, the word living is at the top of the page. The drawing vaguely looks like a husband and wife on their wedding day, and the word living gives me nightly living dummy vibes. Funny enough, there's a whole Goosebumps story about a living dummy who wants to get married. Bride of the living dummy. We know that the five main characters are going to be haunted by supernatural objects in the show. Perhaps the man in the drawing died before he could get married to the love of his life. And maybe the five teenagers will somehow cause his spirit to possess a ventriloquist dummy. If that's what will happen, then it makes sense that this living dummy would be looking for his bride. After the slow opening shot, we see a graphic warning us not to blink, followed by eight super quick clips. Let's slow it down and study each clip one by one. The first shot is of the character Jeff, played by Will Price. He looks pretty sinister, so I wonder if he's possessed or something. Alternatively, the Goosebumps book, Let's Get Invisible, is about a group of kids who discover that evil versions of themselves live in a world that can only be entered through a mirror. One of the lead posters for the new Goosebumps series showed an image of Shattered Glass with characters' reflections in it. I bring that up 
because maybe Jeff in this clip isn't the real Jeff, but an evil mirrored version of him. Or maybe Jeff's just creepy. Who knows? The next clip shows the five main characters again, but Jane, played by Issa Briones, is looking a bit stiff. It, it looks kind of like she is suffering from whatever happened to all the teens at the beginning of the teaser trailer. Perhaps the teens got possessed or put under some kind of spell, and for some reason, Jane can't shake it off. Alternatively, maybe Jane gets hit first, and the four others get hit by whatever it is later. In this scene, though, it looks like Jane's friends are trying to get her help, but don't want to draw suspicion, which is why they stuck glasses on her. It's worth noting that both this clip and that previous one of the five teens looking zoned out that the character Isaiah has his arm in a cast. My guess is that the cast will be the result of a sporting accident, which we'll get into soon. And the third clip shows two characters. With we all know how that may happen. The say cheese and die camera, damn it. <coughs> Probably. Unless they do bring the fucking bomb and snowman from Pasadena in this damn thing, and he made it for the one wearing a mask. This white mask has been popping up a lot in promotional material for the Goosebumps series, and I, along with other fans, thought this could be the mask the Phantom of the Auditorium wears. However, it could also be the haunted mask. This wouldn't be a huge surprise. No, it can't. The haunted mask is green. It looks like a goblin. That is a stage auditorium mask that you will wear. If you were doing Phantom of the Opera. Opera. Okay, which is what they were doing, I believe, in. They were doing Phantom of the Opera stage play in Phantom of the Auditorium. They take place in a school. Some of it does, so maybe they're doing Phantom of the Opera as a play. Yes, I'm trying my best to think that that's the auditorium mask and not the haunted mask mask. What the What? The haunted mask is much more popular than the Phantom of the Auditorium. Time However, her. the mask we see in the teaser doesn't she look anything like the haunted mask we know and love. Her. At the same time, this new Goosebumps show does look like it's going to be different from the Goosebumps show of the 90s. So maybe this is just a different version of the haunted mask. No, it ain't. It's unclear who the woman on the left is, but it looks like the two are in some kind of costume or dressing room. I'm guessing the person under the mask is either Isabel or Margot, the two female main characters. Maybe whoever is wearing the mask will bring it to the previously mentioned Harold Biddle house. Once there, something will happen that will cause the mask to become a haunted mask. The next clip is of the character Isaiah. He's a football player, and he's looking scared at something off camera. Well, as we tell in the official trailer, the mask is already inside the house. So it's not the haunted mask, possibly. It's possibly just the... Uh, just a random mask or the phantom of the auditorium mask. That gets possessed. Because with the mask on, the person who has it is a like ghost in the original story who, who died in the fire. This thing, whatever this demon is, he turned itself into a fiery demon thing. Maybe it's the fucking original owner of the mask. Like in the book. It's trying to get revenge on the, on the person's parents. Maybe the parents are the ones that caught the stage on fire. Maybe that. Or maybe it's the... Or maybe they're somehow related to the... One of them is somehow related to one of the survivors. One of the main characters from the book. Hey! Maybe the two best friends in the book actually got together. The girl... Who, the one who's playing the girl from Phantom of the Opera. And the one who's going... And the one who got the role of the Phantom. I only had a fear of it that those two got together. Maybe it actually came true now. Now, if you saw the lead full Goosebumps trailer before it was taken down, you know that Isaiah is looking at a camera. <laughs> More than likely, it's the camera from Say Cheese and Die. I wouldn't be surprised if after seeing the camera in the locker room, Isaiah has his picture taken. The picture shows Isaiah getting hurt during a football game, and a little later, that's exactly what happens. This would explain why Isaiah has his mm. arm in a cast. In the well, in the official trailer, we see... Him in a fit of rage, throwing the camera against like a desk, like a counter. So maybe, but but but, you never see like or hear the camera take a picture by itself. It's always someone taking pictures with the camera. Never it taking pictures by itself. I'm kind of mad that it didn't make itself in the fucking Goosebumps movie. 
that would have been cool, you know, one of the main characters is thinking it's a random camera, taking a picture, uh, something happened in the movie that yeah, could have happened. Get the for long. I don't care. The fifth clip shows the character Nathan Pratt, played by Justin Long. Pratt is the new English teacher, and it looks like he's in the same location as the teenagers at the He kind of looks like the dad from Stay Out of the Basement. Game teaser. He's holding something, and I think it's a Polaroid picture taken by the stage he's a die camera. That's why Brad is freaking out. The next clip shows Isabella screaming with some yellow substance all over her. Maybe it's monster blood, but then again, monster blood is normally green. However, if this is going to be the haunted mask, then I can believe this stuff is monster blood. Maybe the show creators just hate green. I mean, they deliberately changed the Goosebumps logo to black at the end. I personally don't think this is monster blood. I am getting some egg monsters from Mars vibes, but I don't feel strongly about that. My guess is it's just some disgusting substance the monsters are going to use to scare off the characters. What's interesting is in a promotional image, we see Isabella with a bat sticking between some cars that have the same yellow substance. Whatever this stuff is, it looks like it's going to be getting every... Just uh, the blob? No. Oh, as we saw in the previous, that is the shit from the fucking, like, clown fucking thingy or whatever it was that she hit with the bat that exploded. That smelled like fucking goddamn Johnny Fuck Rancher. What a minute, Johnny Rancher. I still don't know what the fuck that is. I'm gonna be pissed off if it's from a group of book that I read. The next clip shows the main characters in a vehicle screaming at what's in front of them. Jeff is noticeably absent from the group. Maybe he's still possessed or something. This clip gives you flashbacks to the first Goosebumps movie, where the four characters are driving and getting chased by the praying mantis from a shocker on Shock Street. Maybe that's what's scaring the characters in the Goosebumps TV show, but I doubt it. Next, we have the best shot. A noticeably wooden eye opens up before flashing to the Goosebumps logo. I mean, this has to be Slappy the Dummy, right? There are a number of other evil ventriloquists and doll characters in the Goosebumps franchise, but I'd be shocked if the eye we were looking at belongs to any of them. Now, one promotional image shows Jeff holding an eyeball. Even though this Goosebumps show looks darker than the 90s one, I don't think there's going to be eye gouging. I wonder if the eye Jeff is holding is Slappy's eye. As they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Now, I made a prediction for what I think the plot of the new Goosebumps TV show is. Give it a watch. But Let's see what the link confirm monsters are. And then we have like seven Easter eggs that you missed from the Goosebumps movie. So. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Bill here again, Goosebumps Aussie fan, bringing you a very exciting video. Now, that video that I posted of behind the scenes in like the makeup artist room, I think they may have accidentally let slip unintentionally in the background. What monsters we can expect to see in the Goosebumps Disney Plus TV series. So, yeah, guys, the image is a little bit blurry. Check this out. Um, but if you look in the Four background, land. you can see Be careful they what you wish clearly for. have Dead about six different Goosebumps book covers. One image in particular, though, I cannot make out what it is, so I haven't labeled it. There's one that just has, like, the G on it, but if you guys look to the right of be careful what you wish for. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Can't tell, too blurry. Too blurry to tell okay. what it is. I tried. Um, but if anyone in the comments can make out what that image is meant to be, let me know down below. So yeah, guys, we all knew that, of course, Slappy was going to be appearing, not the Living Dummy specifically. Now, that has me thinking, is Mr. Wood going to be in this too? Because it is specifically not the Living Dummy, Mr. Wood. But then again, the first Goosebumps movie, when the manuscript opened, it was just not the Living Dummy. And hey, no Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood was at the main, but at the beginning, not the Living Dummy one, just Slappy decided, well... Tell Mr. Woody I killed him and Slappy. That's Slappy's brother. I no, know Mr. No, yeah. not really. No, Slappy has an evil twin, but it ain't Mr. Wood. It's supposed to be, yes. Okay. Well, I don't remember that from the phone. 
goddamn story. But I read it when I read the original one. But and uh, I I want to know why the fuck did not why the fuck did Mr. Wood not come out? Was it because he died at the end of the book? Died in the book? I mean, he I mean, he got ran over by the damn truck, the garbage truck or some shit. Was that why he didn't come out of the book? But be invasive and then mo then half of the should have came out of the damn books. I thought I said they all died. Most of them fucking died. Aside from maybe uh well the way with fear swamp or monster or the blob or some shit. The blob said he didn't die, he just became non existent. So ain't dying though. <laughs> but the one that really surprised me here was be careful what you wish for. That's one that none of us predicted. Although we did know early on that the series was going to have some kind of like supernatural magic. I mean, obviously it's Goosebumps, so it's supernatural anyway, but they mentioned early on something about like mystical, like magic. Whimsical, guys, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, be careful what you wish for is definitely going to be taking place in the Goosebumps Disney Plus series. Very exciting. Now, Say Cheese and Die, of course, we knew that was going to be appearing as well. Uh, that was pretty obvious from the second leaked photo. You had, like, the photographs there that were very reminiscent of Say Cheese and Die, the Polaroid camera. So we knew that that was going to be a part of it. But, holy shit, did not expect this one. Really did not expect this one. Uh, one Day at Horrorland? Anybody? So, I had no idea that One Day at Horrorland was going to be a part of this. Guys, we thought that was going to be the Goosebumps sequel, but they scrapped that idea, I don't know, maybe money or something. But then again, this is Disney. Disneyland? Maybe they are going to somehow utilize one of the Disney parks and turn it into Horrorland. Now, here's where things get a little bit, you know, iffy for me. I am hoping that Horrorland is not just like over one episode, not even two episodes. Now, this is a 10 part series, so I am. 10 part series, okay. 10 parts? Do the series. Uh, hear what you do, okay? <clears throat> you start off with the original Horrorland story, with the original character from the story, and then you do return to Horrorland that has the same characters. Then you have these new characters come in, and you do, and you do like the Horrorland book series and stuff. But and they're figuring out, you know, like what the Haunted Mask book. It can be like you know, like that stuff. But we'll have to, you know, and they're figuring out, and like going back and forth, and we're trying to like pass and present, so where you still get the original story, but also something new. For a newer audience, something older audience will like, and something newer audience will you like. Right in your mouth, little girl. Hoping that we get at least three episodes minimum of Horrorland, maybe like episode six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine, or oh, it could enough. simply be the cliffhanger, guys. Maybe the last episode they get sucked into the Horrorland manuscript, and then yeah, they have to find their way out. Who fucking knows? But that's one thing I did not expect. Now it would appear that the haunted mask. Specifically, Goosebumps Most Wanted, The Haunted Mask, you you. is going to take place in this. Or it could just be simply a fact that they just have a baseline of what they're trying to work with there. It doesn't necessarily mean it's just going to be She's Goosebumps Most Wanted, The Haunted Mask. Just for the same you. reason they've used like the more modern covers for some of the she books. It's like the reissue of Marley Dummy, not the original. But then it's like the original Very Horrorland and not the reissue. So. But that is besides yeah, the point. The Haunted Mask will be appearing. So... Yay! And last but not least, Welcome to Dead House, which we all predicted when they released that image at the San Diego Comic Con, guys. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Very exciting. Share it with your mates. All right? Get on board. And I'll see you in the next video. You to eat me. I don't gotta feed you. Don't worry. I'll feed you. I'll feed you. I'll feed you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll feed you. Okay? I'll feed you. Mm-hmm. I'll make sure you get fed. Don't worry. But you don't bite your grandma, okay? You don't bite her, okay? I, I know. I mean, I know. You want to. We all want to hurt her. In some way, shape, or form. 
Okay, but you don't. You just keep that deep down to yourself. That hurt, little brat. At least she ain't trying to kill him. But yes, okay, I did give you a Wikipedia on the Pizza Revolver. It's an old timey gun. Well, fans are split on the 2015 <laughs> movie. I loved it. It was awesome to finally see these characters brought to life on the big screen, and the film itself was a blast to watch. <clears throat> Something else that makes the Goosebumps movie so great is all the secrets and Easter eggs hidden in it. I'm excited to share them with you, so let's get started. Also, we are celebrating Goosebumps Movie Month, so I'll be giving away a free copy of the film. Stay tuned till the end of the video and to find out more. This, ain't, this, this first one now, is so an easy to miss, but so really cool Easter egg. Okay, one of the many monsters ago. that appears in the Goosebumps movie is a Magwani witch doctor from the Give Yourself Goosebumps book, Deep in the Jungle of Doom. He doesn't get a whole lot of screen time, but if you look closely, the witch doctor is accompanied by another Goosebumps creature. The shrunken head from the book of the same name appears on the witch doctor's staff. It's a really cool detail that you can only see if you have a shrunken eye. Get it? Because the shrunken head is hard to see. Okay, moving on. Here's another secret you have to look closely to see. Mila Rama, the main villain in Return of the Mummy, has eyebrows made out of hieroglyphics. That's a cool detail by itself, but what's even cooler is that, when translated, the hieroglyphics spell out goosebumps. During the end credits of the movie, we see these amazing depictions of the original Goosebumps covers. One of them is from a shocker on Shock Street, and if you look closely, you'll notice there's a secret. One of the street signs says, Reality Police Department. This is a reference to the antagonist in the Goosebumps book, Don't Go to Sleep. In the story, the reality police chase after the main character, Matt, when he accidentally creates a reality warp. Even though none of the Don't Go to Sleep characters appeared in the movie, it is pretty cool they included this Easter egg. Early in the movie, Zack gets worried that Hannah is in trouble and decides to sneak into her house. He enters through the basement, where he is startled by a cuckoo clock. Considering the clock is in Arl Stein's basement, it's likely that this is a reference to the Cuckoo Clock of Doom book. In fact, it might be the real Cuckoo Clock, considering that it looks incredibly similar to the one from the original story. You decide. Uh, At the beginning of the film, the Jack Black's show. character goes by the name Mr. Shivers before revealing himself to be R.L. Stein. It's possible the name Shivers is a reference to another children's book series. At the height of Goosebumps' popularity in the 90s, a line of horror stories called Shivers were released. They were clearly a ripoff of Goosebumps, so in the movie, it's possible that R.L. Stein changing his name to Shivers is a tongue in cheek reference to the Shivers books. If you've seen the movie, you know that the character Hannah isn't Stein's biological daughter, but in fact, another one of the author's creations. You're While it's fine. never flat out said, it's very possible that Hannah in the Goosebumps movie is the same Hannah from the book, The Ghost Next Door. In addition to sharing the same name, both Hannahs turn out to be ghosts. Additionally, Hannah in the film gets locked back inside her book, along with the other monsters. Perhaps the book she got sucked back into was... No, not fully. Stein did bring her back. <laughs> he found a way. Somehow without bringing the other fucking out of the damn book. Okay, I'm I'm still mad that they didn't bring back the, these characters from the first movie, aside from R.F. Stein, into the second movie. It's only a reference. I want to know what the fuck happened to them. Where are they now, damn it? The ghost next door. Even though the Goosebumps movie isn't a direct adaptation of any of the Goosebumps books, the plot does take inspiration from one. The story of a magical typewriter that could bring monsters to life is similar to the plot of the blob that ate everyone, which involves a typewriter where everything written on it becomes true. Additionally, the main character of the blob that ate everyone is named Zacky Beauchamp, and the two main characters in the Goosebumps movie are named Zack and Champ. That's pretty. And also, another fun fact: the blob is the fuck one is one of the fucking main villains at the end of the movie. Now, time to find out who's winning a free copy of the Goosebumps. Now, we're done. Now you can get your 
recommend.